Welcome to another episode of Hardcat Basics. In this episode, we're going to show you how to create a new login profile in Hardcat. To create a new user, you first of all have to access the Hardcat user administration function. To get access to this area, you first of all have to click on the file menu, then click administration, and then select security. To create a new user within the Hardcat user administration area, you have two options. The first being new, or you can use the copy function. To use the new function, the defaults that are created when using the new function are based around the Hardcat global options, disable permissions for new logins. If that is ticked on, all the user rights are currently set to no rights and you have to elevate the privileges. If that is unticked, all user rights are set to full access. RAD and all options ticked within the options area. Whereas the copy feature will copy all the rights that are currently associated to whichever account is currently selected. I will now create a new user using the new button. The first screen presented is where you can enter the user's Hardcat username. This has to be unique and when setting this up we typically use the user's existing window username as their code. In this instance, I'll use this as an example. Once you have entered the code and pressed OK, you are now taken to the full details of user screen. From here, we can modify and set the rights of the user that we are creating. The minimum required information to create a user on this screen now is person. We have to associate this login to a person record in Hardcat. To do that, it's simply clicking on the person button, which then displays the person entity structure. From here, we select the person we need to associate it to, and that then associates that person to this login. The next step is we have to provide a password for the user. From here, we set an initial default password. From here, we can then press OK to save the user account. For more information about all the different options and user access level settings, please refer to the Hardcat user manual. Thank you for watching this episode of Hardcat Basics. If you have any other questions about anything you've seen in this episode, please don't hesitate to contact Hardcat Support. Thank you for watching this episode of Hardcat Basics. If you have any other questions about anything you've seen in this episode, please don't hesitate to contact Hardcat Support.